Hey YouTube, it's Tetanet Grip Productions. I'm back here, uh, gonna be installing a Sonoff uh, T TX uh, Touch, um, single gain, three circuit switch. This is not a three circuit outlet. Um, it's just a single single outlet, just a bunch of lights in the laundry room. It's just nice to have, because our, our family loves to leave all the lights on. So the switch I'm gonna be putting in for you today, this light switch is, a, it's a, they call it a three gain or double gain. Um, but it's not a three gain switch. In America, this is a single gain switch, three circuits. Um, if it was a three gain switch, it would be, you know, like this. That's what we qualify as three gain switch. So this is the guy I'm gonna be installing for you today. I'll walk through the installation. Um, we'll do a setup video on how to get the EWE Link uh, app set up. And then, uh, you know, that's that's how it goes. So uh, stick with us, YouTube, and uh, we'll uh, be right back. and. You're gonna see how we get this thing installed. All right, so I'm gonna talk about personal protection equipment first off and foremost. Um, the voltage detectors, the little wands, I, I hate those things. They are not safe. They are, they are not, um, uh, in my opinion, I don't feel that they are sufficient in testing if you're gonna play with your life. Now there's three ways you can do this. You can do it the stupid way, my way, or the right way. I like to do it somewhere between the right way and my way. So, of course, I'll shut the breaker off. We'll come back over here, take the wires off, put it on. Of course, elect, a lot of electric, electricians, excuse me, a lot of electricians will, will do this hot and they will use something like this. I have done that before. It is, it is, is very, if you don't have to do something hot, you shouldn't. Um, you could still use screwdrivers like this. They are kind of expensive because they are, you know, uh, voltage rated. So you don't uh, electrocute yourself. And uh, yeah, and it's a set like this. They come apart so I can put the different handles on. Um, that's not the review why we're here. We're here to do the sewn off basic or sewn off TX uh, touch. And that's what we'll get into. So first off, uh, I'm going to take this cover off. We're going to test it to, to see... Um, which is the hot and which is just the line going to the other lights. I already have a neutral set up in here because I was doing some stuff and it's taped. So, um, you know, you're not gonna see that, but what you would do is add another wire nut or a bigger wire nut or the, the push in wire nuts so you could get another neutral because the, the switch does require a neutral line. Um, I guess Sonoff is talking about making one that doesn't or there's some modifications you can do to do it without having a neutral, but this install, there's gonna be a neutral line. Um, so what I'm going to start off doing is uh, pretty much take this cover off. I will be right back. I'm going to shut the breaker off and then, or no, I'm going to leave the breaker on, show you what it looks like live because we got to figure out um, if the top line or bottom line is the live. Um, sometimes you'll have a white and black line going to this and that's just from the light circuit. That means you don't have a neutral in the back of here. Uh, the neutral should be coming from the light and be tied down into here and that is uh, what, where you can use this light switch. All right, guys, we're back here. We got uh, some of our other stuff set up. I'm just gonna use my Milwaukee drill. We're gonna take this guy apart. It's a very basic install. And of course, I don't have tape on this because this light switch has been in and out. So if you don't know what you're doing, do a bunch of research online, take your time. And don't, uh, don't electrocute yourself. Electrocute yourself. I'm just choking. Choking, joking. I'm really just playing what words today. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just choking on electrocuting myself. So you can't see it here, but I'm going to flip the wires around so the cameras see it. I don't have them looped right now, but I do also have it tagged already. So if I turn the switch to off position, lights go off. One of these is still going to have power. Um, the two testers I would say that you want to have is not a foreign voltage detector. You want to either have something that lights up and buzzes like this guy. And this guy's going to make a, a buzzing sound. I could go to the case, but I'm just going to go to the other hot wire and see it's buzzing and making a, and that tells me, uh, what's going on here. Now, if I go down to the case, this, this is grounded. This ground goes back to neutral so I can test. That top line is not giving me a giving me a thing, but this line will. So right now, that's telling me that that bottom line is my hot. 
Now the other way you don't have to use if you got a multimeter, um, this is just a quick and dirty tester that I like to have because in case you never know if your multimeter fries out, it might be telling you zero, zero, zero on the read and uh, there's power there. It's, it's, uh, it's live. So um, that's kind of an issue with me. So you could try this and you could test this in a live outlet before if you don't have multiple testers, take your tester and test this in a live outlet that you know is working 100% and check, check your, every time you work, you need to check your tester. So I'm going to come here and it should read 120. And of course it's reading 120.4, which is right. And it's showing high voltage. So that's, uh, that's it. Give me a couple minutes and we're going to go hit the breaker. Uh, I'm going to put my piece of tape on the line, blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, I'm back here after turning the breaker off. And we're going to come here and test this with the multimeter. Should test it. It's not working. I'm going to ground it out. Touch bolt, ground it out. I don't see any voltage. And now, just in case somehow this got fried and it stopped working, for whatever reason, I'm going to take my other tester. And you could get one of these in a foreign voltage detector, and that would kind of be a two-tier test. But I'm going to touch this. I don't hear any vibrating. Touch it to ground, don't hear any vibrating. Don't hear any vibrating, don't see a light. There we go. So that means this circuit is now dead, 100%. And I feel safe, I can come here and touch the wires and it's not gonna, not gonna electromacute me. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna take these wires apart. One already pulled out because they're not hooked. And then kind of get these shifted out here. Get this guy, uh, here's our neutral. Get the tape off of it. Let's get our switch ready. Get it out of the box. And here's our switch. So back here, there's gonna be a plate. So I didn't lose mine. There's gonna be a plate that comes with some screws and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have this. It's not, it's not it, it, once it's in the metal box, it's not that big of a deal, but this plate just goes over and pretty much keeps these, uh, these nuts from being you know, accessed or being touched. It's just a, it's just a code thing, you know, so you should put it on there. Of course, you know, comes with the nice uh, stuff on there. And then uh, just gonna use my electrically isolated uh, things and go neutrals up top. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna, that's gonna be, make sure I'm putting, orienting the switch correctly. The needle noses are your friends. This is kind of bent because uh, it's in a switch before this. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna hook up the neutral line here and uh, just pretty much gonna make sure she's nice and snug. And then you get snug and you go past snug. You want at least another couple turns past snug. Do a tug test, you always wanna do a tug test on it. It's nice and tight. And then uh, of course, line in is gonna be this guy. And then because it was uh, down on a lug, it kind of got all bent out of shape. You want to keep these nice and straight for going in. Line in. And that screw's not out enough, so I'm going to have to back that out. And then just for demonstration purposes, I'm probably going to put this to, uh, to line one. And there we go. And then on the back of here, you got out, 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 and it's line one, line two, line three, or circuit one, circuit two, circuit three. And that's gonna to correspond to them, but the same buttons on the front of the switch. Getting this all can, and it's kind of hard here. And then you also want to do a tug test at the end of this. Get all these lines in. Make sure they're down in there. Nice and tight. Try to hold on to the line while you're tightening it. And you hear that little crinking? That means it's nice and tight. So I'm going to come here. Get all these nice and tight. Come here, pull on my neutral. That's good. Pull on my hot. That's good. Pull on my line out. That's good. Um, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pop the, the faceplate off, which I probably should have done to begin with, but it's not that big of a deal in what order you do this, just as long as you do it. And there's little, uh, indentations in here that actually help you 
get this plate off. Face plate's off. Set it somewhere where it's not going to get scratched on either side. You got a touch surface on one side and the other side's uh, the actual circuit side. So, one more step that I forgot to do is we got to put our little plate on over this guy. That's good. Now we're going to put our switch in. Now, because I was messing around with these wires, they got unbent. I'm putting a bend in them down. You can do it whatever way you want. You put a bend in it so when I put this in, they bend nice. Nice and neat. And then there we go, our switch is, uh, our switch is inside of there. Take your two screws. I would say don't use a drill, use a screwdriver unless you've done this a bunch because you can strip the holes out and then you're going to have some issues if you do that. See, I'm having issues. It's because the screw wants to go in crooked. There we go. She's all set up. I'm going to snap the faceplate on here, go turn the breaker back on, and we are just done installing it. It's that easy. So here we go, putting the, the plate back on here. There we go, switch is, uh, switch is set. All right, guys, back here after turning the breaker back on, we got her all installed, and then I'm going to try the first switch, and she does work. You should be able to hear the relay go. Here we go, I'm going to try it. Of course, you can hear the other relays, but it's controlling nothing. So it's kind of hard to see. It's uh, really dim, but uh, she's good to go. Now the next step is to get your smartphone out, guys, and we are going to set up the eWe Link app. And how we do that is come over here. If you haven't downloaded it, go to the Play Store. It's eWe Link, which is this guy right here. And then I'm going to go, sorry. Gonna start from the beginning right here, hit plus, hit quick pair, and then the light down here should be flashing fast. So how we get this into pairing mode is we hold this for five seconds till we hear one beep and then a double beep. Now we're in pairing mode. So should now start doing a faster flash, too fast, two one slow. And then I'm gonna come here, hit pairing, pick my network, which it's not on the correct network. For some reason make sure your phone is connected to your SSID and your network not some other network um, that's what I was doing in here making sure it was connected to my network because the eWe link app is going to take that network and that's what's going to show up in here and then you're going to hit next connecting and as long as this is in pairing mode it's going to connect so give it a, a little bit and it should should find the device here also, at this point is when we're going to name it. We are going to name the device, and uh, that is going to be um, what we do at that portion. There we go. It's found. It's registering the device. There we go. Now we can name it. So you're going to click on this. Going to delete what's in there, and I'm going to do washroom because this is the the washroom. Remember that the thing you type in here is what you're going to say to Alexa or Google. So it's important that you, you know, you uh, type it exactly how you want to say it. Um, you can always come back and change it later, but it's really, a, you know, just a heads up, something to note before you get into this. You know, it's hard doing this uh, in the perspective I'm doing it. So I got washroom added. I'm going to hit complete. Got it. It's now added. I got my three switches. All right, I'm going to go into a little bit more advanced configuration here at the EWE Link app since I got you guys and this is such a short video. Um, what you're going to come up here do is come up here and hit the, you're going to select the switch. And then you got all the stuff down here. You can do scheduling, timer. So I could add a timer. And of course, I can say in one minute, turn the switch on at this time, this day, this hour. 
And so let's say I'm going to do, uh, oh, it's kind of hard to see here, but say uh, I want to do the 17th at, and it's the 24 hour time clock. So if you're not familiar with the military time, you can just go online and type into Google convert, com, convert 12 hour to 24 hour and it will convert it for you. It's, it's pretty simple to learn. So I'm going to set it to 1230, hit on, and then hit save. Now it saved that schedule. If you'd want to turn that schedule off, you just come in here and you uncheck it. And there you go. Your timer schedule's off. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to actually set up a schedule. Go to add. And it's the same thing, but you can do year, repeat, channel. So if I only want channel two to turn on at this, say, time and date, it'll do that. And I can schedule it every day at 6 a.m. that channel one turns on and it'll do that. It's kind of it's kind of really neat. Um, there are more functionality and things you can do with this, but it's way more advanced than uh, I'm going to get into in this video. And then, of course, you still have your your light switches. She turns blue when you uh, turn them all on and you got all on and all off. Um, it's a I, the eWe Link app is super simple. If that's all you're going to do to your home and you want really basic, this is a, a these are cheap. They're easy to install. They're straightforward, and uh, they're wonderful, wonderful devices. So I'm done installing this, guys. If you guys want to do a, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe. Uh, Tech Knit Without, guys.